Welcome to the Mountain Mayhem Rally Course. Today we got some fast machines and some talented drivers. They're going to be out here battling it head to head. The way they got this event set up, the drivers are going to have two laps from a dead start. Fastest driver with the fastest lap time is going to be the winner. Now we're going to be showing you guys this event from up here. We're also going to be showing you some onboard footage from Jared's Razor. And we got some footage from the driver's area of those guys talking while they're getting staged up and everything like that in between laps. It's going to be awesome. If you guys like this kind of stuff, man, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment down below if i missed your name or i missed your time we like bringing you guys this kind of stuff and your support helps a lot i appreciate each and every single one of you guys that watch our videos and support us man i'm excited for this to get started now right now we got this dirt bike finishing out and then the side sides are coming up and it's going to be on first up we got drew and razor 1000 xp he doesn't have a turbo so he's a a little bit behind the horsepower, he's going to make up with driving skill. Now in the previous clip, you couldn't tell because the dirt bike didn't go around this bush correctly. You're supposed to go around this thing a full circle on it and then come out the other side. It's going to be really hard for some of these guys because they got a lot of power, but they got to learn how to harness it when they're coming around through there. Drew's making a good time right now though. Alright, let's see how he hits this thing. Drew's got the door open. Still giving it the bands. Looks like he's picking up some speed here. Man, he's making a pretty good time around through here. We're going to see how he finishes out. The dust is everywhere, but we're going to be able to see him as soon as it clears here in a second. He's coming down the back stretch, coming into the finish line area. All right, it looks like Drew ran about a 110, maybe a 111 right there. Up next, we got Wes out of Kentucky. He's got a pretty fast machine. He's got a Razor Turbo. Making a good time through here. Let's see how he does around this big bush. Looks like he's going with the smoothest, fast approach. A lot of these guys are going to struggle getting around that bush because it's such a hard turn for him. Come back out of the dust is hard. He's making a good time right now, though. Let's see how he approaches this jump. He takes a little easy of a jump. Trying to minimize his time in the air so he can get as much speed on the ground as he can. Come around the turn here. He's actually pretty good. Alright, the dust is coming up. He's making good time, guys. He's making good time. Coming down the back stretch right now. Alright, he's coming out to the finish line. We're going to see how he does. Looks like Wes runs about a 107. Puts him at the top right now. Up next, we've got Joe Yates and a Razor Turbo. He come out of the whole uh, speed. Uh, tell you what, this guy right here, he can sling a tire. He got second place in tire sling competition, man. He's a strong dude. See how he does? Man, he's making good time around this bush. Like it ain't nothing. Moved as fast. He's got a lot of dust. He's got battle through coming out of here. All right, he's coming up on the jump. Doesn't hit it too hard. Looks like he's lining up for this back stretch here. These two little jumps. All right, not giving it too much beans. Trying to stay in control. Smart move. Smart move. Now he's going to be coming down the back stretch. As soon as the dust clears, you're going to be able to see him. There he is. He's coming in. And it looks like his time is going to be around a 110. Up next, we got Larry and his bike Z. This thing's got nitrous, it's got a turbo. This is a fast machine. He's making a good lap. Oh, takes a look. He's coming off the top of the hill. Comes off of the flying, though. Lining up for the back straight away. Let's see how he does. He is getting it. He is getting it, guys. The dust is everywhere. Let's see if we can't battle through this and catch him coming down the finish line. This guy's making a really good tap. Really good time right now. All right. Ooh, man. Looks like he's our new leader, but on 105. Up next, we've got an OG Maverick. We'll see how this guy does. Sometimes these machines can surprise you. coming around 
through here nice and controlled. He's going to battle through that dust here in a second. Let's see how he comes out of here. He's coming out. You know, decent speed. He's getting it down the back stretch. Let's see how he hits his jump. Whoa. He hits it pretty good. That's one of the best jumps we've seen so far. Lining up into the back stretch here for these two jumps. Battle through the dust here. We want to see him come down the straightaway in the back. Take a decent time, but not enough for first place. Right here we got Hebe. He's got Razor Turbo. He made good time coming out of the start line. Making good time on this so far. Let's see how he comes around this bush. Uh, it's come around a little slower than he came out the finish line, but again, smooth as fast a lot of times in a race like this. He's going to battle through that dust, see how it comes down the back straightaway. He's coming out of there from speed, nice. Let's see how he hits this jump. Zooming in here, trying to get a good view of it. He's getting the beans, uh, it kicked up on the back, backed off last minute. I understand, man, it's a big jump. He's getting lined up here for the back straightaway on the two jumps for the back straightaway. That thing just shoots like a rock when he gets on it. We'll battle through the dust here, see if we can't catch him coming down the back straight away. All right, here he comes. I didn't catch his time, unfortunately. Up next, we got Jesse Bowman in his KM Maverick X3. This is normally a pretty fast machine. This guy knows how to drive. He's got first place in the drag race. Let's we'll see how he does here. faster than the other guys but he might have lost a second or two right there when he hesitated now he's battling through the dust it's hard and he's coming about down the back stretch pretty fast let's see how he hits the jump right. he's, safe. <laughs> he's lining up for these back two jumps all right I'm gonna give him a little speed we're gonna battle through the dust here catch him coming down the back straight away Pretty fast. Looks like he's lining up for a little nine. Up next, we got Jared and his Razor Pro XP4. Now, last year he didn't get to do this race because his clutch is on, on the way up here. He's been looking forward to this all year in this bush. I think he's going to give him more trouble because he's got a big machine. He's got something right there. He's giving it the beans, boys. He's going to battle through a lot of dust right here. We'll see how he comes out of here. Taking his time to come out. All right, down the back stretch he goes. Now he told me he's going to full center on this jump. We'll see how he does here. Oh man, he is. Oh my God, what is The crowd's loving that jump though. I lost him on camera. All right, here we go. We got him. He's lining up for the back stretch today. He's going to be blasting hooks. This is not expected. He's giving it the beans, boys. It's going to be hard to fight through this dust, but we're going to catch him coming down the back straightaway as soon as it clears out. All right, he's giving it. Alright, let's watch some onboard footage this lap.
1734, I'm 10715. Who's leading it? Him at 105. Two seconds. He got his big two seconds. You was flying. I know how I felt like I was flying, but I didn't. Oh, really. he airborne this. I mean, I didn't. I, I ran didn't off never, the jump. I didn't ever. I, I ran off the jump. Oh, did you? Did you hit, not hit straight on? I did, but when I, I was a little to the left. Yeah. And when I landed, I landed like five feet, and then it went off the berm. I just went off the berm and whipped you. You get you. Line that out, you. Hey, he said he had thirty-five. I thought I was flying. I mean, I thought I was really good. It felt like I went thirty feet through the air. I didn't let out, baby. I let out on a jump. It kind of got yeah. in my power. I'll just tell you right now, I could have walked under never flying. one on your yes. tires. That's how high you were. But you hit, yeah. it with, you hit it with more momentum than him. I'm telling you, I could have walked underneath your whole machine. That's how much air you had. That was pretty wild. It felt like it went forever. I could hear Billy screaming on the loud thing. I couldn't tell what he was saying, though. <laughs> he said he's in third, and I'm in fourth. <laughs> he better be hauling ass this time, because I'm going to commit to it this time. <laughs> it felt great. It felt like you're in the house. It felt great, but I almost uh, jumped off the side of the jump a little bit. You don't say it looked good, but I'll show you. Next we got Channing Gibson, a four-seater Honda Talon. We'll see how he does here. He doesn't have much horsepower, so he's going to have to drive in the curbs a little faster than those other guys. But uh, Channing, I've talked to him before. He says, I just have fun, have a good time. Looks like that's what he's doing. Plays it conservative on the jump. jumps on the back straightaway here. See how he does through here. Or work through this dust, catch him coming down the back side. Oh yeah, we can see him good. He ain't too much dust when he comes through there. Alright, he's coming into the finish line. Looks like Cannon got a 118. Up next we got Austin in his X3. He's got one 120 horsepower X3. So he's going to, have to make up some time in the curves. He has been practicing this course though, so I think he's going to lay down a good lap time. I'm telling you guys, this bush is hard to go around. It's slowing him down right now, and now he's going to battle through that dust to come back out the other side. Man, he's giving it some power right now. Here he comes. Oh, that's a good jump. That's a really good jump for an X3. All right, he took a pretty good little turn right there, made a good time coming around there, hitting these jumps. Awesome. We're going to work through the dust, catch him coming in the back stretch, see what kind of time he's running. All right, he's coming to the finish line. Looks like he's lined out for a 112. A pretty good lap. All right, now we've got Drew coming back again. Hopefully, his door stays shut this time. He's coming out there. He's got some speed coming out of the hole. He took that first curve. Awesome. Let's see how he does on the bush. All right, he's making a good time coming around the bush. Throwing up a lot of dust, he's going to work back through that. He's coming out the back side now. And Drew is laying down a pretty good lap time right now. Last time he hit the jump pretty hard, let's see how he hits it this time. Oh, that's a lot of air. That's a lot of air. Man, oh, whoa, something's going on there. So, like a machine jerk to the left. I wonder if something broke or something's happening to him right now. But I don't know, he's cleared out of it. He's coming down his back stretch, hitting these two jumps pretty hard. A lot of dust being thrown up. We'll catch him on the backside. He's making killer time right now. I mean, I'm very surprised at how fast he's running those 1,000 XP. Holy crap, looks like he worked his way up. He got a 107. That's a fast lap time. Right now, we got our second place leader, West High of Kentucky, looking to make his second lap. He made a pretty good time so far. Let's see how he does around this bush. Taking a little faster than the last time. Not as much dust being thrown up. He's 
still going up to battle through his big dust cloud for him to come out right there. That's a fast car, man. That's a fast car. Let's see how he hits this jump. He commits to it more than he did last time. He had a flat jump last time and it bucked on him a little bit because he must have let off or something at the very end. He's straightening out for this curve right now. He's laying the power into it. He's putting down a quick lap time, boys. He's putting down a quick lap time. I think he's going to be faster than he was last time. We're going to catch him in the straightaways that comes down through here. All right. Sliding right there, it looks like he ran a 104. Puts him on the lead. Up next, we got Joe Yates with the Force Racing Turbo. He's coming down there fast, just like the last time he did. Come around the bush. All right. Smooth is fast. He's doing good. Four Sears put more dust, so they got a little bit more challenge when they come out of this, battling through all that dust. He's fast. He's fast. See how he hits this jump right here. Oh, that wasn't bad. Bugged him a little bit in the rear. Now he's going to straighten out for this curve. Got to get the two jumps in the back. He's making pretty good time. He's making pretty good time so far. We're going to let the dust clear, catch him on the back straight away. It's been a pretty quick lap. Is it enough to place? Uh, that's a 108. Not enough. Next up at YZ, he's our current leader with a 105. Actually, he's our second place leader because Wes just beat him in Wes's previous lap time. So the YZ, he's going to put down a faster lap time than he did last. Man, he is giving it the power right now. There's a ton of dust coming up in there. It's coming out of it, going down the back straightaway. That machine is crazy fast. See how he hits this jump. Last time he played it safe on the jump. All right, he plays it safe again. So fast they can make up for it. Lining up for the back curve, making a good curve around right through there, getting the humps, full of speed. We're we'll gonna let the dust clear. We're we'll gonna catch him on the back straightaway here. He's coming down through there. He's pretty fast. Ooh. Unfortunately for him, it was not enough. He ran a 107. Up next, we got Jesse Bowman in his X3. He's a fast machine. He had to repair a flat in between laps, though, so we'll see if this hurts him or not. Man, there's a lot of dust. That's definitely hurting him right now. A lot of dust to battle through. You can't see where you're going. Can't hold a lot of it. Now he's going to be hitting this jump. All right, he's hitting pretty good. Getting worse and worse. I can't even see him coming down the back stretch right now. Let's see how he finishes out. Looks like he finishes at a 106. Not enough to place right now. Now we got Jarrett lining up for his second run. Jarrett's going to put down the pile if he wants to place on this thing. Let's see how he handles this bush. The dust has been getting worse. He's got a lot of dust coming up right now. I can only imagine this type of car, it looks crazy. Can't even see where he's at. <laughs> Come out of here, crazy fast. I don't know how he's seen through there. I don't know if he's guessing or lucky one. So he jumps and he ain't letting off. Oh my god, what a jump. Crowd loves it. Coming right through here. He's swinging it wide, getting in a good line, coming in his jump. He's holding wide open. He's giving it all it's got, boys. He's giving it all it got. That's going to clear out. I'm going to step forward so I can maybe catch him coming through the back stretch here. Let's check out the onboard footage from that lap. It was a fast lap, boys.
There's a girl crossing the trail in front of me. Oh God! Turn the damn video off. Man, that was a killer lap from Jared last. Next up, we got Channing Gibson. He's gonna make a pass around through here. He's just out to have fun, boys. Though he's just out to have fun. Oh my God! He's the only one to go through the mud hole. Again, Channing is down on power in terms of compared to some of these turbo machines. So he just runs a 115, but he had a blast. All right, last one up, Austin. We're gonna see if he can improve on his last lap time. Whoa, it's looking a little swirly. He's got a ton of dust to battle through right now, though. Coming out of there, he's picking up the speed. Let's see how he gets his jump. Oh my God, what a jump. That was pretty awesome, man. Austin's going to be our last racer today. We're going to see how he does. He's coming down the back stretch. He's lining up to the finish line. Here he comes. He runs a 108. That's a good lap time. Looks like Jared takes home another victory for the old trail next. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail.